Hello everybody! This week we're still riding out the cold wave here in Texas while we work on our boat projects that we brought back with us from Georgia where our boat still is. This week we're going to take ashes from the barbecue pit, mix it up into a paste with some water, spread it out all over the wood Kevin sole floors that we brought back home with us, and supposedly that's supposed to clean everything up and pick all the grubbiness out and stuff like that and make them look really, really good. We'll see if it happens or not. Fun fact is, is that you can supposedly take this paste, scrub it on your stainless steel pans, and it's supposed to bring those to a mirror-like finish. We'll see what happens. I really don't think this is gonna work, but don't tell her. Anyhow, let's try it out and roll that intro. Everybody. Today I have the recipe of recipes for you. This recipe is not just for cleaning your pots and pans, it also, in old times they used to use it for wood. So then like if you had any stains, like right here you can see a little bit of a stain, like a red stain from beets. Uh, they would also clean this very naturally using ashes from your grill. Now the best kind is the wooden chips that have been burned. So after you grill, you can use those ashes, have a product that works for a lot of stuff. I remember my grandmother using this product, which was just ashes from the grill, and she would clean just about everything because not, it, not only does it clean, it disinfects, and then like your wooden tables, like the, I remember like her kitchen table was like a wood block. They would put the ashes at night. You just grab ashes, get them wet, make a paste, let it sit, and the next morning you remove all those ashes and that wooden block, it's clean, all the stains are gone. Now, it's like magic. The process of using the ashes. Here in this glass I have ashes, like, I don't know if you can see them, they're just from the grill, I haven't done anything to them. You can use this as a scrub on the bottom of your pants and it works fantastic just as it is. If your pots are very, very nasty, what you wanna do is take some ashes, a cup of ashes, a cup of vinegar. I use white vinegar because that's cheaper, but right now I'm out. And uh, a cup of water. So it's one cup of each. Cup of ashes, cup of vinegar, cup of water. Set it, put it on, uh, on a pan, let it boil for 30 minutes. And when it comes out, it's gonna come out looking like a paste like this. See that paste? That's what you want, that's the gold. The water, usually you chunk it, but um, yeah, I guess you can still kinda use it. But really what you want is the paste and you can store the paste and continue to use it on your pants. This is for when your pants are pretty bad on the bottom. This is what you want. You wanna put this, maybe let it sit a little bit, and away you go. Another way that they use the ashes is they take the ashes, and then they take rainwater, and then they just let it sit for a month or two, and that becomes kinda of like a Clorox, and they use that for cleaning the flooring as a disinfectant, and just they clean just about everything with that. I'm gonna start here to show you the progression of ways to use this, but at the end, what I wanna use it for is for my wooden floors from my boat. So we're gonna start with this. Here's a pot that I've already cleaned using this method. And you can see it's nice and shiny. It's almost mirror-like in there. You can see the sides, very, very clean. Now, I have tried products all my life like Ajax, Bars Keepers, and a plethora of other stuff. I, I'm gonna show you this pot. You can see all of that. And this is because my son has been using this to boil eggs. So all that calcium just gets embedded in there. And you can scrub it all you want. It's not coming out all the way. Or maybe something like this, where the salts basically have created this um, hazy mess at the bottom and again you can scrub it all you want not all of it is coming out
at the sink we're gonna grab our scrub put some soap some more vinegar and now scrub with that notice i haven't added any water to this I just removed the vinegar water that i boiled it in and that should be it now for the bottom right here what i want is a little bit of the vinegar this is the the solution that i made which is the one cup of vinegar one cup of ashes one cup of water boil for 30 minutes so i just want a little bit there and with that now i'm not using a lot of elbow grease but now as you can see i can see still see spots so i can use some of the ashes that have nothing on them maybe a little bit more soap and with that make the paste as you can see the back is not perfect but i think that the next treatment that i give it this should be looking perfect by then uh, you can see the sides they're mirror like again and the inside very very mirror like so now i can be proud of my pots and pans again now the reason i wanted to see this is so that you can see the multi-uses for this uh, for using ashes now i'm going to use it on our floorboards on our sailboat which uh, have dark spots on them and this is a way of kind of bleaching them so i'm hoping that it works and we're about to find out if that does work i already have one piece that i've already sanded all the way and the way that this works when you use it on flooring it cannot be used on on varnished surfaces because they will begin to eat the varnish but you can use it on unvarnished so that's why it works perfect on cutting boards So here we are with the cabin sole floorboards. They look pretty stained from 33 years of wear and tear without much TLC that's ever been put back into them. So we are going to put the same paste that Mariana used on the stainless steel pots for these panels and then try to clean them up. Got cold here in Texas, as you probably heard, but we kept on working on our boat projects even though there was snow on the ground. I threw warm water from the tap only because the outside hose was frozen. And now as I'm looking at it, I am wondering if it is going to warp the plywood. This looks like a disaster waiting to happen, but I said we would try, so we will keep going. What you can see here is, yes, this totally worked. I can't believe it. Even though I always knew all along it was gonna work. I give it two big thumbs up. It really cleaned out all these grains and, and evened everything out here. This is a high traffic area, so it's actually, it's worn down one of the layers. So that's why you see the uh, different color there versus the different colors down here and this actual dark brown. But this is something I can work with now. I can totally get this to where it's gonna look much, much better than anything else that we had a chance of before. We were trying to throw some varnish on there, it didn't work, had to take that off on some other pieces. Thank goodness we just came across this ash recipe and that I decided to try it. And uh, so yeah, this is gonna be totally workable. You can see that we have much more air, much more evenness all throughout the board. And I think that this can be something that we can live with and be proud of a little better instead of even going back to buy brand new plank. This is going to brighten things up and make it look very, very uh, much more livable that we can deal with. So anyhow, 
We really appreciate you making it all the way to the end of the video. And we, if you could help us out, hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe, that's an easy, free way that helps us with a YouTube algorithm. It gets our videos suggested more times and we get more views and then maybe we get more subscribers too. So that helps us out a lot and it's totally free. So we hope to see you out there on the water sometime. And if you, come, if you see us, come by and say hello. We'll give you a big Texas howdy. And we thank y'all very, very much. So take care, till next time.